In this ant farm building series, I'll be demonstrating to you how to build simple, complex, small and large ant farms so you don't have to go out and waste your money on expensive and overpriced farms that aren't even that good. Today I'll be building whitong nests, in particular this blue one, so feel free to follow along throughout the video, pause it if you have to, and yeah. Here are all the materials that we use throughout the build. So we've got the drill, whitong brick, polywood, plexiglass, sandpaper, and sanding machine, saw, paints, sponges, super glue, magnets, scissors, um, old screwdrivers, and yeah. Righto, enough with that, let's get into building. Step one, measure, mark, and cut. I did mine at 15 centimeters long, 10 centimeters wide, and five centimeters in depth. Feel free to make yours whatever size you want, as you might have a small colony or a really big colony, so it's just preference. I ended up changing the table I was working at because it got very bumpy and the camera kept falling over. After finishing the cutting, the next step is sanding. You can either use a sanding machine or just sandpaper. I chose a sanding machine because I've got one. Ensure you sand all faces of the brick so there are no bumps. This brings us to step three, drawing up your design. I recommend measuring out a one centimeter border to give yourself a nice guide when marking out your design. It took me a few attempts to find the design that both looked good and will perform well. Ensure that you have marked out where the hydration holes will be as this is vital for the end ant nest. That brings us to step four, cutting out the nest chambers. I use a variety of tools to do this as it can be a bit of a process. These tools included nail punch, screwdrivers and chisels. Make sure you go really slow because messing up here can lead to a complete nest failure. After cutting it out, give the inside of the nest a quick sand to smoothen out the chambers. Don't forget the water holes. Step five is drilling the entrance and exit holes for the nest. Start the process by using small drills and work your way up to your desired hole thickness, as this prevents the brick from splitting. Step six is preparing the magnets. I use three millimeter thick by eight millimeter wide ones, but any will do. If you don't have access to magnets, then using screws is fine as well. Drill out mini holes to place them in and super glue them in place. This leads us to step seven, painting. This step is optional, but I think it adds a nice touch to the nest. If you decide to paint, I recommend choosing two colors that complement each other nicely, like mine, light blue and dark blue. I put the dark blue on the outside and the light blue on the inside. I went over it in the second coat to ensure the brick was fully covered, then left it out to dry. I quickly cut out a sponge for the ant's hydration and started step eight, cutting the top screen and wood for the bottom. To measure it out, I simply sat the nest on the materials and traced them on, then started cutting. I gave the wood a quick sand after, then super glued it to the bottom of the nest. I then peeled off the plexiglass cover and tested out the magnets. Although they did work, I'm not going to risk having ants running wild in my house. So I decided to reinforce the nest by applying four extra magnets, which was very helpful. I then marked out where the water holes were and used a small drill to cut them out. And that, my friends, is how you make a Waitong nest. And if you made it this far, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel for future ant content. Thanks for watching.